Have you ever wondered, how does creatine actually work? When you're performing intense lifts, our body utilizes the ATP phosphocreatine system. And there's only a brief window that this energy system lasts for. ATP gets broken down into ADP. ADP will later bind with creatine phosphate to make another ATP molecule. Now this process takes some time to completely replenish ATP, where you can perform at the same intensity as your first lift. But supplementing creatine will saturate your muscles, increasing the bioavailability, and can improve the ATP fossil creatine system so it has more endurance and can last longer. But creatine in itself isn't magic. Taking creatine might give me an extra one to two seconds of more endurance to push a little bit harder on a lift. Now that extra push might just help you get a little bit stronger or build a little bit more muscle. Now working in a gym for over a decade and having a degree in exercise science, I think this is something that's important for a lot of people to take a look at. And this is the pyramid of importance. I hope the way I said that had some gravitas to it. Okay, so let's take a look at the bottom. This is the most important. This is our foundation and it's going to be our nutrition. Now this doesn't mean we need to have a perfect clean diet or anything, but every single fitness goal can fail if you have a crumbling foundation. Not enough protein or calories, good luck trying to build muscle. Or are you trying to lose weight in a calorie surplus? Well, good luck. Now following this pyramid up to the second most important layer is our exercise and physical activity. If we're trying to build muscle, we need to stress those muscles. And if we're trying to lose weight, being physically active can be beneficial and important. But surely supplements have to be next, right? Wrong. Next we have rest and recovery. An overtrained muscle can struggle to grow and being tired can impact muscle development and the ability to lose weight. Rest and recovery always seems to get overlooked. But now here we are at the top of the pyramid and here we can put supplements. Now I'm speaking about your normal supplements. You can go to like a GNC or your local drugstore and buy, not PEDs. Now don't let me deter you. Creatine can still be beneficial and I personally still take it myself. I just think it's important to have perspective on this and in the grand scheme of things, Things, the benefits from supplementation might only be five, maybe 10% at most. If you guys are interested in the creatine brands that I recommend, I'll put an Amazon affiliate link down below in the description. Uh, I will link right up here a video on creatine that does a full in-depth dive on some of the research and science behind it, even more in-depth dive than this. So I hope you guys enjoy that video. We'll see you next time. Have a good day.